For those of you that have been commenting on our Xperia X1 videos and saying how much slower our review unit was than the one you've used yourself, uh, seems that we found that to be the case as well. Uh, Sony Ericsson sent us a new Xperia X1 to test out after we discussed the problems we had with it at CES. They sent us this nice new shiny black one, which I think is a lot better looking than the silver one we had before. Um, you can see the body's exactly the same thing, except for the black metal panels instead of the silver metal panels. But the big difference here really is speed. You know, And the worst offender in the other device was the camera. So we're going to activate the camera here. And you can see quite clearly when we go through the menus, you know, how quickly things scroll now by comparison. It's still not the speediest thing we've ever seen, but you know, you can pull up, pull up something, and you know, get, go through the menus pretty, pretty reasonably now. So, we're glad to see that change. Uh, the thing is, it's, it's not, it's not all perfect yet. You know, the panels are still pretty slow to activate. You know, we'll pull up the panels here. See, we'll switch panels, and it takes a few seconds to switch out. It's still not live yet. Static image. Okay, now it's live. So we're still looking at three seconds or whatever for switching panels, but that's not something I think most people are going to be doing too often. Uh, in general, you know, a lot of the sluggishness that we saw in the other device is gone, so things are moving a lot better. So th this seems to be more in line with what people have been saying and what we were expecting in the first place after having spoken with Sony Ericsson. So glad to report that the Sony Ericsson Xperia X1 really is faster than um, than we were showing it in those other videos, but you know we're kind of stuck with reviewing the devices sent to us. So um, you know if they send us a slow one for whatever reason, we don't really know what it was. It doesn't seem to be any more or less RAM or anything like that in it. But when they send us a device that doesn't work that well, you know that's what we have to assume all the devices are like. We're just uh, happy to report that that's not actually the case here. So here you go. This is a very much improved Sony Ericsson Xperia X1. Uh, makes the device much more usable. I think people are going to like it. It's still really pricey. Uh, you know, not a lot of people are going to be buying this in the United States, especially since it's not offered under contract or anything. So total unsubs uh, unsubsidized prices, you know, like $800 or something. It's really an awful lot of money in an economy like this, but still very functional. And if you really need this kind of performance, um, you know, and the functionality that this offers and, you know, a high-res screen, the X1 something to look at.